So over here you can see that I have an audio file and if I were to go around and then press the play button this is how it sounds like. This is a test recorded audio for the vocal reduction and isolation effect. So now what I want to do is let's say I want to remove out the vocals and just have the music. So there's an effect for that inside of Audacity and to apply it, I'm going to go around and then press Ctrl A on my keyboard so that all of the audio waveform is selected. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into effect and over here you can see vocal reduction and isolation is an option. Once you go here, you can see that there's different options that you can choose from. So let's say I want to remove out the vocals. So I'm going to click on remove vocals right here and you can select the hearses right here. You can go around and select the strength right here. So I'm going to go for the strength value of two and you can go for vocal ranges as well. But in my case, I'm just going to leave it to default and press OK. So now let's see what happens. So if I were to go around and then press the space bar now, it has removed out the frequency of the vocal level and you can just hear the music as you can see. So this can be handy for removing out vocals in unwanted places, although it does reduce the audio quality. Let me just press Ctrl Z to get the vocals back and let's say I want to do the opposite right here. So this might not work out to be perfect, but let's just go around over here on to um, uh, effect. But before that, let us hear out how this sounds like. So let me press the space bar. This is a test recorded audio. So let's say I want to isolate out the vocals right here. So I'm going to press Ctrl A on my keyboard and then I'm going to go around into effect and over here, you are, uh, I'm going to apply not tremolo right here, but I'm going to apply vocal reduction and I isolation. So here I'm going to go around and click on isolate vocals right here. You can go around on to the vocal areas that you want to. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it out to default right here itself and then press OK. So now what happens is that it tries to reduce out the music and isolate the vocals. So let's play this out and see how this sounds. This is a test recorded audio for the vocal reduction and isolation effect. So what it tried to do is that it tried to isolate the vocals as you can see and the music is reduced uh, vastly. I'm just going to select everything and press Ctrl R to repeat the effect and let's see what happens. So not much has been changed right here. So this is uh, what, what it actually has. This is a test recorded audio for the vocal reduction. If you want to increase it even further, you, you can try uh, going around right here onto vocal reduction. You can try increasing out the strength right here, press OK, and then uh, it might go around uh, and reduce it much more. This is a test recorded audio. So that is how it works. So that is how you can use the vocal reduction and isolation effect inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.